This is analysis of Janelle's butterfly. Like we talked about in that brushstroke, we want to make sure that we don't let our knees bend on that entry because it acts as a shock absorber and prevents us from carrying that full momentum through the entry of our start. So we can see Janelle does an excellent job of keeping her kick short and tight here. As the further she gets away from the wall, she naturally shortens and tightens her kick, which allows her to maintain that top speed for longer. When she's swimming butterfly, she does an excellent job of pressing the tee. So what we mean by that is that there's a natural tee that forms between your shoulders and your spine. She does an excellent job of making sure that every time she takes a stroke or a breath, that she pushes that T down and leads that with that T instead of her hands. This allows her upper body to carry the mom or the momentum of her upper body to carry her hands through the early part of the catch and force her hips back up higher in the water, which allows her to stay higher in the water as well. One thing we really want to look out for is that we don't have so much knee bend when we take a, a kick. So as we can see here, she has considerable knee bend. And the reason that we want to avoid that is because we're going to end up getting a lot of negative resistance against those, those knees that are poking down towards the bottom of the pool. Coming in for this turn, we see that she climbs real high up out of the water. So what we want to do is, we want to make sure that she comes into and out of the wall on the same straight line. Right now we can see that she's coming into the wall and then coming up and around before she gets back out on that same straight line. So eliminating this slight inefficiency will allow her to get into and out of the wall with more momentum and carry that top speed longer. Additionally, she knows exactly how many dolphin kiss she's going to take off the wall. She's never going to breathe on this first stroke. We can see that when she does, it forces her body position to very high and it forces her hips down, down, down. So we want to make sure that we prevent this negative drag and we also prevent our hips from dropping so far down. We want to stay high in the water when we swim butterfly. We can see that there's a pretty big distance between her chin and her the surface of the water. We only need our chin to skin the surface of the water so that we can take a breath and then drop our chin to press the T and continue on with the next stroke. We really want to be careful of this knee bend, especially as we get more tired. We can see that as she prepares for this breath right here, bringing her, bending her knees so much really prevents her from gaining that forward one momentum and she isn't able to use her hips to generate power to move forward. So keeping, kicking from the hips and keeping the loose legs straight will allow her to swim with more efficiency, power, and speed. This is underwater analysis of Janelle's butterfly. We can see that Janelle does a good job of pressing the T early on in the, sh in the 25. She really forces her head and her T down. What we mean by that is the T that forms between her shoulders and her spine. So as she forces those hips, or excuse me, the, her T down, it forces her hips up, which allows her to seesaw her way through the water like a dolphin without presenting a lot of negative resistance in this direction because we have such a narrow face that we're presenting to uh, slow down our positive momentum. We gotta be careful that when we take a breath we start to get more and more vertical especially as we start to tire later on the 25 and 50 we can see that we present a greater face of resistance and we also see that our knees can start to bend a lot more. All of this creates our hips forcing downward and a lot of negative resistance as we move down the pool.
We want to make sure that when she comes up for that breath, keep our body position high in the water. We don't want to see so quite so much knee bend on these kicks. We want to see her really start generating power through her kick from her hips, not from her knees. That's going to allow her to stay much higher in the water, save energy for later in the race, and also swim with more speed. We can see especially the very end of the race when she starts to get tired just how vertical she can get. So it's, it's extremely important that we think about making sure that we don't allow our head to come too high.